Dear friends of art, the time has come. The Highlights Munich Art Fair opens its doors. A wonderful opportunity to forget everyday life for once and immerse yourself in a world of the past, which has produced outstanding art objects of perfect aesthetics, which inspire not only the enthusiast. Join us on a short tour and let us take you into this world. Johann Friedrich Böttger achieved world fame as the inventor of European hard paste porcelain. But porcelain as we know it was actually developed shortly after his death. Felspar instead of alabaster as a flux was the well-kept secret at the time. Genuine Böttger porcelain based on the old recipe, like the baluster vases presented here, is therefore one of the great rarities. Each were decorated with so-called Erminger appliques, individually made applications, as they were already common in the goldsmiths and silversmiths craft. Their namesake was no less than the Dresden court goldsmith Johann Jacob Erminger. The white Berthe porcelain was preceded by Berthe stoneware, which is characterized by its brown coloring. It got its inimitable shine by polishing. Some pieces were also coated with a black, mirror-like glaze and painted. The court lacquer artist Martin Schnell made a name for himself in this métier. Our three octagonal vases, which may have served as mantelpieces, exemplify the various decorative forms. From today's perspective, it is hard to believe that they already went out of fashion around the mid-1710s. When there were no electronic media, theatre was one of the most popular diversions, and not only at court. Commedia dell'arte, the Italian popular comedy, enjoyed particular favour in the 18th century. Over time, certain characters had developed who were identified by their clothing. Its most famous figure is undoubtedly the Harlequin in his colorful doublet, the Joker who was allowed to get away with anything and with his often crude jokes, crossed the boundaries of Cormille Faux, and thus spoke from the soul of the audience. He also liked to eat and drink and put his physical well-being above everything else. Here we see him with Columbine, a fun-loving young woman from the people who is idolized by lovers. One of them is Pantalone, an elderly merchant. As rich as he is stingy, never averse to a love affair, but Columbine knows how to resist him. His stooped posture and long cloak are typical of him. Johann Joachim Kendler and Peter Reinecke have masterfully captured the characters of the Commedia dell'arte in snapshots, as it were, which may have reminded many viewers of that time of certain funny scenes on the stage. Today, we delight in the details, such as Pantalone's yearning gaze. Mounted as two armed candelabras and decorated with the finest porcelain flowers of French manufacture. Pagliaccio, the clumsy servant, and Scaramouch, the cocky braggart, present themselves and testify to the popularity of the figures even among the Parisian nobility. 